everyone. As we wrap up another day of LensFest, I've got a few creators here with me to discuss their newest film shot entirely with spectacles. My name is Sarah and I'm a creative lead for Spectacles Marketing. I've had the immense honor of working with the incredible artist and performer Victoria Modesta, along with Pitch Studios, the multifaceted design studio who helped to bring this project to life with AR lenses. But before we jump into the questions, I'd love to first present Victoria Modesta's newest film. Hey Victoria, Christy, and Chris, it's so nice to see you. Before we jump in, I have to say I really enjoyed working on this project with you all. The experimental spirit and the level of craft you all brought to the table was so incredible and inspiring to see. Thanks so much for being here today. Yeah, thanks so much for having us. Yeah. Thank you, it was great to be here. Our first question is for Victoria. So you share that you're very passionate about technology and science and this deep interest has impacted all facets of your work, including your music, performance, filmmaking, and of course, your impeccable style. How does your passion for tech and science shape the way you approach every project? Um, it really impacts me on, on every level when I, when I work on new projects. Uh, I think for me, it's been really important to not only uh, sort of innovate in terms of like the technological sort of like element that I bring into my work but also the process itself like performance art and fashion um, you know and and really innovate how you know from from ground zero you know how the team is formed and kind of people that get together and how we use this technology in a way that is beyond demo and is beyond something that we've tried before um, so it's 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 really an important part and you know i think for me i just try to make it 
uh, as seamless as possible and, and kind of just, um, you know, embody technology literally sometimes, uh, you know, especially on some, on some more kind of avant-garde performance art kind of projects and stuff. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's really important and it's really fun and it's never a dull day. So Christy and Chris, you two are also definitely no strangers to exploring new technologies and mediums in your work. How would you describe what it's like to work with AR specifically? And what changes when you craft AR for hardware, like spectacles, especially when it comes to depth mapping? I think, um, you know, spectacles kind of gives us sort of new kind of perspectives on what we think of 3D space. It sort of allows us to be a little bit more organic and, and also experimental. Um, I think with Spectacles specifically, we have a lot of room to research and develop and, and that experimentation part of the process is really exciting for us. Um, I think also, you know, we work a lot in 3D um, in our work as a studio, but also, you know, we operate in a 3D world for the most part. Um, so it, it does feel fairly natural to us um, as creative people. But I think what gets really exciting for us is when we start to incorporate things like occlusion um, and we, we don't always know what the, the final result will look like. I think something that we discuss all the time is yeah. like the unknown is sometimes the most exciting part of the process. Um, and so it kind of like gives us, as I said, new perspectives of like our surroundings and our environments in like the physical world. And we kind of like figure out how we can use those to our, our advantage in a way. Yeah, and it kind of allows for our ideas to um, be really expressive and kind of exploring different tones and moods. So we can kind of think we're not so much, we're not trying to be like bound to the technology so much, but kind of coming up with ideas that like, oh, you know, if it doesn't work like this, maybe we can try something else. So yeah, um, yeah let's, it like um, allows us to think more creatively in different ways. Um, yeah. Victoria, can you tell us a bit about your vision for this film and how do the AR lenses help communicate your message to the audience? Well, this project came about at a really interesting time of post sort of pandemic and, you know, I just had so many creative ideas and feelings that I want to express. So I guess it kind of, it was a pretty ambitious project and uh, I really wanted to sort of like capture all of the different facets and the processes that happened to me personally throughout this time. And, you know, I was just lucky enough to kind of gather the, the correct team around it to actually make all my dreams kind of come true in this particular project. So, um, you know, the film itself, it's, it's a very artful, kind of very dynamic uh, run through, through like a personal into, into perspective kind of like process of growth and transformation and I guess understanding yourself and acceptance. So um, it's pretty personal and you know I guess I like to base my work on, on, on a little bit of a sort of personal note. And you know I think that uh, I've never actually worked with augmented reality in such a direct way where you know I was able to use it as kind of like an extra layer, an extra dimension for the things that are unseen. So I think that uh, from my perspective, you know, it's really helped amplify the acting moments and the moments where you think you know what I'm going through or you think that you kind of get a sense of what the emotions are meant to be. But the lenses in this particular sense, they really kind of bring that to life and they really um, you know, it's that moment where you see the light bulb sort of like flash next to you and you're like, oh, that's what's going on. So it, it's, it's kind of helped animate a lot of the moments and, you know, I've never done that before. So I'm, I'm very excited for everyone to kind of see that and just see, you know, how augmented reality can be kind of, you know, it's the perfect kind of layer between real life and sort of sci-fi VFX kind of world. It's, it's very interesting. So Christy and Chris, we know that there was a lot of experimentation involved with building the AR lenses for this film. Could you tell us a bit more about that process? What did you learn from it? Yeah, well, I think one thing that we really enjoy about the process in particular is that iteration is really key and that's part of the, the process with especially when collaborating on such an extensive um, amount of lenses as well. 
we, we kind of find that, you know, Lens Studio is such a good foundational tool. Um, but I guess from our perspective, we like to see how far we can push and play and like how far we can get to those parameters and boundaries yeah. and, and kind of what we can do with it. I think what's also really exciting about um, the process, particularly with like AR and then also spectacles, is that randomness is sort of part of the process. We don't always know what we're gonna get. As I was saying earlier, that unknown factor is, is kind of like exciting for us. We yeah. kind of relish in like the journey from, uh, you know, the, the, the start to the, to the end. It's all about the, the journey in between as well. Um, so yeah, the, the process is the project sometimes. Yeah, and kind of capturing those like those happy accidents is um, is kind of the other fun part about doing that, and um, yeah, it just kind of keeps us curious and kind of figuring out how can we build in in certain ways that like is um, quite interesting. Yeah, cool. And what's unique about designing AR lenses and lens studio for spectacles? What's unique about it, I think, is that um, there's you're working with a piece of hardware as well as a piece of software so there's that kind yeah. of that interconnection between those two things um, and so we often get to step away from the computer and go outside and experience the real world and then kind of see how that plays into into the space on our and on the software as well so I think that's what is probably the most unique about it yeah and I think the, the type of 3d that we explore um, coming into Lens Studios, it's it's the same but but different and it's it's interesting how we can kind of translate some of those concepts in in a different way that we're like um, new to exploring. So yeah. And a fun question for Victoria. How do you think AR will change the way we think about performance and music in the future? I really believe that it's going to be a lot more integrated in a more kind of natural way. You know, I think at the moment uh, AR is either very high-end or kind of very low-fi, you know, t on our kind of personal devices. And I believe that there is the space in between where, you know, augmented reality is just going to, we're just going to be able to kind of use it a lot more um, kind of vividly, you know, in live experiences. And obviously everything is moving online now with performance and, you know, that's just such an untapped kind of, you um, expressive field so I think it's gonna be really cool honestly like I'm just I think from from a artistic perspective like the next five years I think it's it's really exciting what's going to happen wow that was really really inspiring um, thanks again for joining us today it's been a pleasure thank you so much and I really hope that you enjoy the film thanks so much for having us we hope you enjoy Lens Fest see you guys <laughs>